George? To the authors of nine things that have pissed me off recently. One. To the writers of History of America and 1001 Objects. If a country's history can be summarized by material goods, there must be something wrong, because I was under the impression that our nation's blood was thicker than wood or plastic. Two, dear Suzanne Collins, <laughs> if I was ever a teacher, I'd make my students read Mockingjay as an example of how not to end a best-selling series. Three, to the, to the editorial staff of the National Enquirer. Seeing your bullshit headlines each day was always a treat. Maybe it was the time you found OJ's murder tape, or the time you caught Bigfoot on camera, because come on, your audience is clearly able to tell the difference between a mythical beast and a Chewbacca costume. Or maybe it's your unhealthy obsession with John, Travolta, John Travolta's sexuality. I mean, at this point, maybe you, Animal Fan, eh, eh. But Animal Planet and Fox News can join together and enlighten the world of American media on the facets of homosexual life. For Dear Virginia Woolf, I never realized Mrs. Dalloway was your suicide letter. I never realized how tired you were living in a world that failed to understand your condition. Manic depression sending you to rock bottom so you stuffed your pockets with stones and slept in the seabed. Last night, I swear I saw your ghost in my rearview mirror. Five, to the authors of prayers for when you're feeling useless. The night I found your book on my father's bedside, I began to realize where I got my genes from. Six, to the authors Whoever the fuck wrote Fifty Shades of Grey, maybe, maybe you're the catalyst to this type of depression, the type that makes housewives blog about rape fantasies and husbands wear fancy couplings to remind themselves that they're worth something. Seven, dear Stephanie Meyer. <laughs> Instead of ranting about how your books not only plagiarized Anne Rice but ruined her art form, I think I'll start by saying Woo! thank you. Thank you for teaching our woman that it's okay to fall in love with sparkling douchebags who want nothing more than to abuse them for their life. Thank you for teaching Bella no future other than submitting to the demands of something you engineered to be her superior. Nice. Eight, what? dear Anne Rand, thank you for giving America's inferiority complex an adrenaline boost. Thank you for encouraging the judgmental clerks each time a struggling parent uses food stamps. I was under the impression that a human life was worth much more than a balance in an EBT account. Don't you dare justify the suffering, for, justify their suffering for the sake of comfort of selfish, selflessly selfish dollar bill pill popping CEOs. You, my lady, leave me speechless nine. Dear Harold Pinter, master of the, uh, master of the absurd, on a scale of one to ten, how happy would you be if I were to end this poem with a rhetorical question? <laughs>